What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back. Today I have a fantastic video for you guys, quickly summing up all of the features that we are expecting for 0.15.0. So yeah, like I said, I'll be going fast and I'll be going quick, but if you guys wanna see anything in more detail, go ahead and check out the links in the description below. Also, huge shout out to Minecraft Pocket Edition Wikia. Uh, it's where I got all this information and they keep it up to date, so check it out if you're watching this at a later time and you'll be able to see all the new features that they've been talking about. So, let's go ahead and dive straight into what we're going to be talking about today, 0.15.0. Let the speed round begin. So, this tweet from Tommaso Chechi confirmed resource packs are coming. This tweet from Jason Major confirms that realms will be added and we've already had the beta for that. Tommaso once tweeted about the possibility of trading in an NPC component coming to MCPE. A new phase of redstone is coming, which includes mechanisms like pistons, command blocks, and sticky pistons. Uh, here is a picture of a sticky piston and a version exclusive. Well, one thing, it's got a broad base in the neck of it, and also it can push block entities. Jason Major tweeted out this picture with two new things, a fire charge and a horse spawn egg. So both of those are new features. Obviously, horses will be coming along with the spawn egg. This tweet from Tommaso Chechi confirms that they are working Working on commands, resource packs, and plugins, which are like mods for Minecraft Pocket Edition. This tweet from Jason Major with a picture attached showcases the brand new feature of name tags working in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And another one from Jason Major, here is him showcasing the new lead system on a sheep. Jeb also teased this new archer mom, which looks like a skeleton wraith with a bow, which is super cool, and it's not been added to any versions of Minecraft yet, so it may be an MCPE exclusive when it first comes out. Jason went ahead and tweeted out the picture of raw mutton, and we can assume that you can also cook it up to make cooked mutton, and mutton is meat from sheeps. Right now, all you can get is wool and XP, but wait till 0.15.0, and you'll be able to get awesome food. This image that Jeb tweeted out confirmed that there might possibly be brand new villages in different biomes. This one is an example of one in the taiga biome. Tommaso also teased that they may possibly create a new world generator that would add new biomes, but you'd need to make new worlds in order to get it. This tweet from Tommaso Chechi also confirmed an anti-aliasing option that will come with the Gear VR version, which was actually just released with version 0.14.2. Also, the developers have been tweeting brand new world heights, and this picture obviously goes up pretty high, up to 391 blocks. Also, pigs with saddles were just added, and you can ride them, which is fantastic. And I can tell you guys, I am a fortune teller, because if you remember back... Also, if you're gonna have all that stuff, why not add saddles to ride the horses, which could maybe mean pig riding, huh? huh? Called it. <laughs> So uh, there we go, that's most of the big news. That's all I could find on the wiki, and that's pretty much everything that we have confirmed. Now there's other things that have been talked about, but haven't really been that talked about. You know what I'm saying? So that is pretty much what you can hopefully expect for 0.15.0. .0. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, found it informative or helpful at any point, please go ahead and give that video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of my old update videos in the description below if you want to get more in-depth information. This was just a quick overview. Also, I just got back from a quick vacation. Well, not really vacation, but a trip. So, sorry there have not been any videos, and sorry this one is so fast. I just wanted to get one out. Didn't want to miss two days, but I will be back in full force tomorrow with a let's play and a major collab on wednesday so stay on the lookout for that thank you guys and as always stay frosty my friends peace guys see ya bye bye